Hi, it's Dan New Orleans from Amaze Kids, and this is the Colossal Coloring Book of Magic. <laughs> if you're thinking, wow, that's a really big coloring book, you're right. It's more than triple the size of the industry standard, and when kids first see it, they react too. Here's some video highlight of my nine minute routine using a book on which this one was based. A book that I bought at a toy store and colored and cut by hand in the 1990s. Let's take a look. The cover is heavy stock, full color and UV coated, giving it an ultra glossy shine. When you first open the book, the kids will see line drawings of magicians performing classic magic tricks. Hey, you know, when I was little, I used to do lots of coloring. Now I'm older, so I do magic shows, but I've had this book with me a long time. Never had a chance to color it. Is anybody out there good at coloring? Neat, careful, never makes a mess? Good, just checking hands down. Then you attempt to magically color the book, and it becomes all scribble scrabble. <laughs> this is an idea that I created 30 years ago, and I've been performing it ever since, and kids love it. Is that your fault, Suhani? Gage, is that your fault? If it's not your fault, then not your fault. Then whose fault is it? <laughs> then you have the audience say the magic word. Everybody say Jumbo Jelly Beans! <laughs> I think it did all the colors in the book will have rearranged themselves. Take a look. Absolutely beautiful. Let's hear it from my two great helpers. They did a great job of coloring on every single page. Come in close with the camera and you'll see the details. This looks so convincing even for kids sitting in the front row. Our artist worked carefully with the printer to create real crayon texture on every single page that's colored incorrectly. In my routine, I have one child hold the book like this and another child hold a box of crayons. The crayons disappear from the box and travel into the book. Did you see that? But when the book is shown again, the kids see a scribble scrabbly mess. For young children, this mistake is just hilarious and it gives you the opportunity to magically fix the book. I suggest that you use gags and props that fit your own personality. If you've seen my show, you know I use a large colorful breakaway fan, followed by a breakaway crayon, followed by a set of large nesting wands. This arm, the yellow one, the yellow one there, yellow one there, let's hear it for Gage! The book is 15 inches wide by 20 inches high which is big enough to be seen in large theaters, but small enough so you can carry it to home parties, libraries, and school shows. The pages are really sturdy, so the book should last you for hundreds of performances. When you buy the book, you'll have access to a video that has a full routine from my DVD set. It has all the little bits of business that I've developed performing this over 3,000 times. You did it? You should have, because look, they're gone. You wave it three times over the book. One, two, whoop! Keep your hair still there, okay? Go. You wave it three times over the book. One, two, whoop! Stop. Four magic wands! Gage has four of them there. Four of them, and he's gonna... I know that you're going to enjoy performing, and your audience is going to love watching you perform the colossal coloring book of magic.